telling you, it's insane. People are buying water, people are trying to take off and leave Long Island. People are making their way out to Texas and paying $1,100 to book a room. To book a room so they could see the solar eclipse. It's insane. So today's prompt is gonna be a scene that I have borrowed from the series Three Body Problem on Netflix. And in that series, they talk about uh, these sofons that are the size of protons and they're sentient computers being sent to Earth so they can monitor and watch everybody. And then the sofon can actually um, expand and unfold and then it covers the Earth completely. And in that particular scene, there's an eyeball that is generated in the sky. So here's today's prompt. An eye in the sky looking down on Earth and humans beneath are very scared. So it's pretty normal. It's kind of it's kind of tame. That doesn't look very scary. Yeah, right now it's kind of like looking at you. It's not what I want. Yeah, that's stupid. There we go. That looks kind of creepy. But maybe we need to to change the effect. So the composition, let's see, shot from below. Let's see what that would look like and see if that makes a difference. Yeah. We're getting there. Not, I mean, it's not, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to like redo the whole prompt because it's not exactly what I'm thinking about. Let me see. Leave a comment and tell me what you think about this show because I've been watching it and it's a slow burn for the first second episode but as soon as it starts kicking off it really really turns into a really uh, good show. Ooh yeah. So right now it's looking directly like like it's looking at us. I want it to look down on Earth, but imagine if an alien race came out and it was like we're watching you, and this eyeball showed up, which it, which is what happens in the show. Only it looks very synthetic, like electrical. Like it doesn't look humanistic, but it's it's meant to shock. Oh, and what the fuck is that? Look at these humans. Look at that shit. That shit's fucking... That shit's scary itself. Yeah, so it, it's basically an eyeball that everyone can see from the ground level from Earth. And it's just the eyeballs looking around and just looking at them like, I'm watching you. It's meant to display how, how much of... How much power and incredible technology that they are... Um, that they have that's more advanced than the humans could ever create in the time that they've been alive. But they're also afraid that in the... There's a lot of spoilers here, so bear with me. This, the uh, Trisolarians are the alien race, right, that, that are coming to Earth, but they're actually a little bit afraid of, of the risk involved because they know that by the time they reach Earth, that the earthlings will have advanced throughout those 400 years and create technologies that could defeat them and also you know they'll go back to their planet and just wipe them out so they're hoping that uh with these sofons uh these sentient computers that they could uh cripple the earth's science to prevent humans from advancing it's very interesting. So they make people see things that aren't really there. Uh, it's it's pretty crazy. Humans looking up towards the sky, seeing an eyeball that has circuitry all around it, looking down at them. No, that's kind of stupid. There we go. That's more like it. So it's kind of like that, but it's... Everyone's like, what? What the fuck? 
There's like a fucking eyeball. What? And so there's like, everyone's afraid because it covers the whole sky. Like, like something like that. But it's electrical. And I need to get a little bit more creative with the, the prompt, but... Yeah, like these humans are looking up and they're like, what? What is that? That guy looks like Eddie Furlong. Bro, you gotta look outside. There's an eyeball in the clouds. You're like, what? No way. What does that look like? Yeah, like that. But in the show, it was blue. Like everything was like monochromatic. Well, that's monochromatic. Oh, yeah, because I have through the window. So everyone's looking at, everyone's in some sort of a restaurant they're like what yeah look at that they're like we are watching you watching you watching you look at that yeah i i can't imagine how shit terrified i'd be just like looking outside and this giant eyeball is looking down Yeah, like, that's kind of weird. But it's got to be an electrical eye. Yeah, that's stupid. It looks like someone's freaking hippie painting. An electrical eyeball that is in the sky, surrounded by clouds. It's nighttime, and it is looking down on Earth while the human beings react terrified and afraid. Yeah, so this just looks like someone's on acid and shit. Yeah, this is stupid. An electric blue eyeball in the sky surrounded by circuitry in a dark night facing down on Earth. Yeah, there we go. That seemed to be more what the show was kind of doing. Yeah. Look at that shit. Ooh. Yeah. But see, it's just looking out and in, into like it's just there. It it needs to look like it needs to be shot from below. So let me let me make sure that people can actually look up. Maybe I need to do that. I, how would I do that though? Let's render it again and see how it goes. What the hell? See, this is stupid. This is not this is no. Yeah, something like this. Holy shit. There we go, we're getting closer. It just has to have like little humans around looking at it. Like that is crazy. Just people on earth and they just look up and there's this big giant eyeball. Well, I mean, if you think about it, an eye is pretty fucking weak. Right? And it's and it's a bitch too because it like blinks at the slightest thing that'll interrupt it right it like constantly flinches because it's it's doing that to protect like the the eyelids are protecting the eye so if you had an eyeball in the sky i mean sure it's terrifying but for the humans they they could just fucking launch a rocket and say fuck you right into the eyeball what's it gonna do yeah that's crazy looking But it, it is an interesting story because, like, it makes you wonder how many people would actually turn on the human race, like, would be traitors to the human race and join these aliens and help the aliens conquer mankind. Like, what would you do? Like, leave it in the comments. Tell me, like, would you be, like, all for helping an alien race come and conquer mankind? Or would you be like, fuck you, aliens. I ain't gonna deal with your bullshit. 
But I, I honestly think that, like, mankind would probably, you know, work together to prevent an alien race from coming down and conquering them. Because, I mean, what would happen to the humans? And, and if you're facing an alien race with technologies that seem like magic, you know, like, I'm pretty sure a lot of the humans would would straight up bend over and be like, hell yeah, let's do this, conquer me. I mean, the whole concept of, like, some alien eyeball in the sky would be insane, right? It's It's meant as a shock and awe for all of humanity. But if we had the technology to create imagery like that, like to cover the whole world in an image, I can almost certainly guarantee that it wouldn't be long before porn was covering the heavens. Like instead of a giant eye, there would be like a massive pair of titties all over. You just go outside and look up and you'll see thrusting 24-7. Look at this shit. <laughs> it's just like, what? Straight up Cyclops. Yeah, this is getting crazy. Like the eye. Oh, this is how bored this girl is. She's like thinking about going to her next class and above there's this eyeball that's just watching her every move. Most of these humans are like, these are the sellouts, I think. I guess these are supposed to be buildings? I don't know. She's definitely a traitor to humanity. And that dude... He, he's probably gonna be convinced. That's insane. Look at this guy. He's definitely a traitor. Whoa, look at that. She has been absorbed by the eyeball. Yeah, the same thing over here. Well, that well, that's his good as it's going to get for today. I wish that we never see any of this crazy shit or get invaded by aliens, but we might because of the solar eclipse that we're going to have today and it's not good. Thanks for joining me on another AI adventure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And always remember to question what, what is, is real. real.